everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. And today, I woke up with a strange obsession with Watch Dogs 2. I woke up this morning and I was like, fuck, wouldn't it be cool if we had a Watch Dogs 2? And I'm just like, you know what, let's, let's create the hype train before it exists and start talking about Watch Dogs 2. So what I'm going to do is make this video about five things that I want to see in Watch Dogs 2. Before we start, I want to say these are all opinions. Before you watch the video, I'd like you to Google the meaning of the word opinion before commenting, fuck you, this is bullshit, I don't want any of this, you faggot, go die, because it's an opinion, it's my opinion, yours may differ, I am open to that. Let's go. So at number five, I want more side activities. So we did have a few side activities in Watch Dogs 1, but they, they, were, they weren't fleshed out, they weren't enough. It was kind of just like you go to a market and be like, okay, kill this person or try and take this guy down or hack into this computer. And there wasn't any cutscenes. It wasn't narrative driven. It was just like a really quick mission. Some of them were cool, like where you'd go around collecting clues, like the one with the dead bodies. That was pretty cool. But I think they need to be more involved. And we've seen they can do this with like Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So if they can implement some of the stuff we've seen in that game into Watch Dogs 2, that will work really, really well. And side activities always have to be fun and compelling. Otherwise, there's no point playing them because you just play the game for the main story and you get nothing out of side activities. So if they can improve on those, which I'm pretty sure they will for the next game, that will be really really cool and i'd love to see that in the game so at number four i want some more customization so we could customize the weapon not customize them but we could choose the weapons and we could customize how aiden looked so we could give him you know different outfit that's essentially what it was what i want is to maybe have a bit more choice with outfit customization so we see games like gta um and even assassin's creed you get some cool customization features now i don't want to go completely in uh, like GTA, because GTA is more of an open world sandbox kind of, I guess you, you can kind of role play in that game, so you can kind of do whatever the hell you want, there's loads of activities, you're kind of living as this person, you can do whatever you want, and there's a main story involved as well, but with Watch Dogs, it's more of an action adventure open world, where it's all based around this main story with some side quests, and you're playing as characters, so I think if they lent more, leaned more towards, like, an Assassin's Creed style open world customization, rather than a GTA, I think that could work really well, although something I would love is definitely weapon customization, and vehicle customization to have in the game because I think that'd be really really cool and hopefully they involve more customization in the game because it was very limited in the first one but if they expand on that it could be a really really cool feature. At number three I want a more compelling story so in Watch Dogs 1 the story for me for a lot of people they liked it whatever okay cool but for me it felt kind of bland it was your niece dies and you go and kill everyone it felt a little bit lost at times and a little bit far-fetched. I want something something cooler, something that feels like you are this badass vigilante. You want to get justice. You want to take down all these huge bosses and crime organizations. You want to shut them down and do really, really badass stuff. Like, Aiden, he had that capability, but for me, maybe not the right character to choose. Maybe it could have been redesigned a little better, but... That is something they can definitely improve on in Watch Dogs 2. And I think they have huge opportunities for story. We've seen they can bring it back with Syndicate. So can they do it with Watch Dogs 2? And number two, I want a better car handling. Like in Watch Dogs 1, like the cars, they feel like they just kind of slide about. Like the car handling and the car mechanics and how they, they how they control. They're really dodgy and weird. And I, I like, I, I don't, personally, I don't mind too much. I'm not a huge car person, so I'm not like, oh, this feels shit. But it would feel better if the cars were maybe more weighty, maybe felt a bit more realistic. This is something they should definitely improve. All of the cars, they had their stats, but they all felt exactly the same. Like, it, it wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't enough variety with the vehicles. And I think that's something that Ubisoft need to definitely fix with Watch Dogs 2. And as for number one, remember, this is an opinion. Don't hate me. This is something that I think would really work with a Watch Dogs game is a female protagonist. We've seen they can pull it off with Eevee and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but I would really, really love to have a female protagonist in Watch Dogs 2, because I feel like that role of just hacker, badass, killer kind of person just really fits a female character more than it does a male character, because you can be sly and sneaky, and you can hack things, and it just feels really... I don't know, I feel like Watch Dogs is definitely suited to have a female protagonist, even more so than Assassin's Creed. And I think that would be really, really cool. Now, if they announced Watch Dogs 2 with a female lead protagonist, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. And that would be an amazing thing to have included in Watch Dogs, because I think it will work so well with the gameplay. So I do hope you enjoyed this video about my thoughts of the top five things I want to see in Watch Dogs 2. Let me know your thoughts in the description, not in the description. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What kind of things do you want to see in Watch Dogs 2? Are you excited for Watch Dogs 2? And do you think we're going to see it announced at E3 2016? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Smack that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe for brand new Watch Dogs 2 information, news, and thoughts as I get the information. Stay tuned, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!